way, shall we? It's hard to get here. This is the real life boat life. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the US, we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000 mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Last night on anchor here in Cumberland Island near the Sea Camp Dock was fantastic. We had a little bit of wind, but Pivot had really good holding and we slept great. Today we are going to be moving to another spot on Cumberland Island, a spot that a lot of people miss because it's a little bit north and it's not near the main area. This spot is called the Plum Orchard Anchorage. Coming from the Sea Camp Dock, we have to come all the way out south just to go north because there's so much shoaling like, in between. So make sure you're following your tracks whenever you're navigating around this area at all. Very shoaly. As we are cruising north to our port side, we have a submarine base that is located just outside of St. Mary's, Georgia. Super shallow right now because it is low tide. We are at a depth of four feet, and so we are just going slow as we approach Plum Orchard. We came to Plum Orchard actually on our southbound trip, and we also came during low tide. But unfortunately, our tracks coming in this exact same route um, have like disappeared or they've timed out or something on our GPS. So we do not have our tracks anymore, which is unfortunate. So we're just going slow and gonna take it easy, trying to just navigate and get in safely. Now approaching the inlet to Plum, Plum Orchard, there's a ton of shoaling, so you need to make sure you check your maps for what's current. It's pretty decently marked. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hug the north side of the inlet when we come right in, and uh, hopefully it works out. But you can just see, there's literally sand in the channel. This is ICW channel that there's sand inside, so this isn't only coming to Plum Orchard. Georgia and ICW is uh, shoaling, and we're traveling at low tide, which I like because you can see the shoals but you know to each their own at a high tide you wouldn't see it and you wouldn't hit it probably so it's not exactly worse
We have arrived to Plum Orchard, which is the third and final dock here on Cumberland Island. Now you can continue north and there is an anchorage, but you have to um, beach your dinghy. There's no um, dock access. And this anchorage is really nice because not as many boats come to this spot. So you really are pretty secluded and have it all to yourself, which is how we have it today. We didn't get a good bite the first time we tried to lay the anchor, so we brought it back up and we laid our anchor a second time and now we're just trying to let it kind of settle in the mud um, before we reverse on it and give it a little bit of RPMs. Oops. We got a great bite the second time around and we feel much more comfortable leaving pivot now that we know that the anchor is set properly and securely. In yesterday's video, we explored the southern part of Cumberland Island and here is just some of the trash that we found. Yeah, we found a throw cushion, still in usable shape. Brought that back on board pivot. This is where I'm gonna be sitting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we found a lot of little plastic debris from paper, um, from plastic bags to thicker plastic and then plastic tubing. We also found styrofoam. Lots of styrofoam. Lots of styrofoam. There's a larger piece upstairs. Hair ties, uh, plastic bottle rings are like from plastic bottle tops. Yeah. Let me put all this in here. Yeah. yeah but we also found, yeah. Here we found my map. Ubiquitous balloons. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, we found balloons yesterday. <laughs> oh, just some sandy balloons. I mean, oh, wow. Wherever we go, we always are finding balloons. I find them in the woods all the time. And it's just, just so sad. Yeah. Such an environmental disaster <laughs> waiting to happen. Yeah. Let's put that in the trash. And we found a shoe sole. Yeah, we found a six pack ring yesterday. What else did we just, There was so much. There was a lot of trash that we were able, yeah. able to pick up along our uh, our travels. Yeah, and I think the biggest one was the the trash bin. That like was the, the whole <laughs> trash bin. Yeah, an entire <laughs> trash bin. And the thing about Cumberland Island is that all of the items that are brought onto the island have to be removed. So there is no trash facilities or receptacles on the island. So it was kind of ironic that we found a trash receptacle washed up on the shores. <laughs> now we will we will save all of this trash and we will bring it back with us to St. Mary's and we will dispose of it in there like um, trash receptacles at their city public docks. So doing our part. Yeah. Good job guys. Our part. Yeah. Good job. All right. Yeah. Bye Ollie. Where is she? Oh we are heading to Plum Orchard and Elliot is going to stay here on the boat with Ollie. So he's just dropping us off so we can take a tour of Plum Orchard. Bye Ollie, have fun. She's in panic mode. Bye, don't get into any trouble. Don't have any parties no, about Ollie, us. No, do not jump. No swim. <laughs> no, don't swim, don't jump. Bye. Nicely done. And just like that. Like a glove. Goodbye. Mm. How many times have you been to Plum Orchard? It's our first time. Never been here. Awesome. Excited. Looking forward to a great day. Yay! Just in time for the tour. Awesome. Yeah, we're making the 1 p.m. tour. The Plum Orchard Mansion on Cumberland Island was built in 1898 in a Georgian Revival style. Lucy Carnegie built it for her son George Lauder Carnegie and his wife Margaret Thaw. The house served as their primary winter residence until George passed away. Afterward, other members of the Carnegie family resided in the house. Although the furnishings were not all original to this house, many of the furnishings were brought from Dungeness, located at the southern part of Cumberland Island. 
The tour guide shared information about the furnishings and other design details throughout the house and unique features including a fire hose and calling board. The tour guide explained how the family used the various rooms in the three-story house with the living quarters on the main floor, the bedrooms on the top floor, and the basement which housed the electrical panel, power generation, and food refrigeration. The tour concluded with seeing the indoor squash tennis court and indoor nine-foot deep pool. Up here, watching what's going on. We just finished our tour of the Plum Orchard Mansion and it was fabulous. We had Chris as our tour guide and she answered all of our questions, provided us with just so much information. It was, we were blown away. It was an amazing tour. We saw so much of this building and learned so much about the Carnegie's and how they incorporated their, how they shared their affluence with their friends and family through their just generous and kind hospitality. And it was a really cool experience. We, we really enjoyed ourselves. What did you think of the tour? I it thought, was great. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah. It really was. The, the opulence and grandeur of the house was just really just amazing, but it still had a very homey feel to it. I mean, you could see how they could entertain in there, and you could see how it really had that, that home atmosphere, like a place that you'd want to come right. to. And the interpreter was great. She took the, she let us take time, and we found lots of details that we were able to ask about, which we like. Yes. We like seeing all the details and looking at every <laughs> nook Every cranny. nook and cranny, not missing <laughs> anything, and she, she was great. She yeah. let us take time, and awesome. it was great. Yeah. Awesome. It's a beautiful place, absolutely beautiful. We're sitting on the, what is this, the west side of yeah. the house on their uh, patio. patio. On a porch. swinging bed yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. And if we look out, we can actually see Pivot right. in the, uh, <laughs> over in the marsh, right. and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I am back with Team Pivot here on land and it's just so beautiful out here. There's not many people here and it's hard to get here. Uh, Cumberland Island is con connected, you know, so you could walk from sea camp, but it's 14 miles round trip. So not a lot of people do that. If you're camping here overnight, you can do it. The other option besides the way, the way that we got here, you can also get a tour to come here from sea camp. And you'll see a bunch of other things and then we'll take a van or a golf cart here to Plum Orchard. After all the hiking trails we did yesterday, now we are on a trail hopefully leading to the beach. Maybe some more wild horses. But to be honest, I don't think anybody knows where we're going. Just doing some exploring. And Ollie's looking for armadillos. It's neat, there's just a lot of different vegetation, different wildlife, little trails. 
It's probably been a while since somebody was been. beach Cumberland Island it's the end of a perfect day a wave goodbye to the ocean and uh, it's time to head back to pivot what a great day that was a really nice chill nap on the beach We're about an hour and a half till sunset yeah so it's time for us to head back but all we can really say is that coming out to Plum Orchard by boat, taking a tour of the mansion is amazing. But if you take a trail, I, do you remember the trail? No, but okay. it was three miles. Yeah, for if you. you take the trail directly to the beach, it is definitely worth it. You could easily bring a very lightweight chair with you, a book, and you just have this beach for miles and miles of just pure isolation it's beautiful yeah it's so calm today the water just sounds amazing yeah after the sand dunes that are adjacent to the beach the environment changes and you now have a maritime forest which is really cool because in this environment you have a lot more of the palm trees you have the um, the oaks and the pine trees Westby what's in a maritime forest it's in a maritime forest yeah oh just very very mature trees it's all part of the old sand dunes we saw palmettos sable palms resurrection fern on live oak trees I mean there's just so much uh, so much to see here in, a, in the maritime forest. Awesome. There's a lot here. Not a walking stick I would want to have. You look fine. That was a fantastic sunset. Made it just back. And it was 7.57 miles. So we did a little bit longer, me and Westby. But the no CMs are out. So we're gonna head back to Pivot, cook up a nice, lovely dinner. Yeah. I think they're ripe for the picking, Westby. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Bye-bye. See you. Yeah. It's a buggy zapper when we're in the back. You hit some up here. <laughs> don't don't knock over the beer. Yeah, don't, yeah, save the beer. Yeah. Oh. oh. I gotta go where I don't think they are. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 that's a little close. Here, touch Patty. No, no. There's one on Patty. Yeah, careful, no. careful. No. Oh my god. I think one of these doors is open. Yeah, they're still. Here come the Jedi. Oh my god. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ah, there are like two or three of them. I can't believe this works. <laughs> this is the real life boat life. We had an excellent day at Cumberland Island and at Plum Orchard. But we got back around sunset, and that's the time the no seams love to come out. And I was getting eaten alive. You were the only one getting eaten alive. I was the only one getting eaten alive. But now we're in a killing spree to try to 
get rid of the no CMs inside the boat. All windows and doors are closed that do not have um, screens. <laughs> and the only windows that are open have screens. So, it's real good. life boat life. It Anybody is. Anybody who could see pivot from the outside is just like. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is. Oh my god. I can't believe we still have this many. Yeah, I can't believe either. Alright, you want to turn? <laughs> oh, you go for it. Okay, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> well, 90% of the no CMs are dead, and 90% of the no CMs are still out there biting us. But we are going to end the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed seeing this new anchorage in Cumberland Island, or if you've been here before, Make sure to leave us a comment below and we'll really appreciate that. And we'll see you guys tomorrow as we cruise again on America's Great Loop. I think we're going back to St. Mary's and, um, and then northbound. Thank you guys for watching. We have the, a submarine base in the... Do we know the name of the submarine base? We, oh, no. Oh. 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 We're diving back in the oh. room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, I get it. Oh, man. Three points of contact. Only rule. Or you'll be back. Bye. <laughs> Aww. Bro, she's looking Sweet like... Sweet girl. Come I on. know. She's like, where can I jump? I It'll be our luck. This is the pond where the gator's in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Ollie. We're too abusive. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I, got, I got one at least. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, how am I getting none? So vacuum or zapper? Both. Maybe you zapper stop at the vacuum. Is really